Hello everybody, it's day 95 of my Jaguar S2 restoration project and time to press out the remaining three differential bearings. I will start with the one on the pinion, but this bearing is actually contacting the pinion gear, so there's no way to get the bearing splitter underneath the bearing itself. I will instead have to install it this way and hope that the roller cage and the rollers will transfer the force onto the inner portion of the bearing. Unfortunately, the threaded rods are again too short. Nevertheless, I will try to install one on this side at least and reuse one of the subframe bolts on the opposite. As you can see, the splitter barely extends over the pinion gear, so I can't put it into the press, which means I must go with the puller again. With the two splitters not 100% parallel to each other, the two studs are now not exactly lined up with the pinion shaft, and this means I must install a subframe bolt on the opposite side as well. Looks better now. But there's not enough space for my end piece to be installed. So let's replace the upper studs with two longer ones. Unfortunately those were banded when I tried them on the pinion flange. So let's give it a try. This should help me to better counteract the ratchet. Let's try to keep the end piece centered on the pinion shaft, but it doesn't want to. The bearing cage and the rollers are coming up quite a bit, but unfortunately not the bearing itself. But now it was moving, so let's readjust the puller or better, the two splitters, and install those further towards the inside. Hardly any resistance now, but actually the splitter still doesn't grab the bearing case itself, so this needs further readjustment. Now it looks better. So the splitter is now installed in between the shim and the actual bearing. The gap is getting larger, which means I have to readjust the splitter again. Voila, here's our bearing and the spacer right underneath comes out as well. The bearing case itself remained completely undamaged, but unfortunately I caused a few bands here on the roller cage. Now up to the bearings on both sides of the gear carrier. The carrier itself has cutouts on both sides. Those cutouts make it even more difficult to use my splitter because this has a rounded surface exactly in those areas and that's why I decided to try the standard two-leg puller on this bearing to counteract the pressure. I have to search for a correct sized pushing driver. 44 mm is the perfect one. I don't understand why those pullers don't come with proper flat end pieces. Looks good. This workmate is even the perfect size to prevent the carrier from dropping down. The oily surface made it slip. I think I found a way to play it safe. And again, this puller arm moves towards the side. 
There's nothing new on this so far, but wait a little bit. A little too short. Should not make sure it doesn't drop down. However, I'm not able to reinstall the splitter. Now up to the bearing on the opposite side. The cutouts here are far too small to get the puller inserted, which means I have to go again with the splitter on the cage first. The standard threaded rods are sufficient this time. Again, this requires a 44 mm pushing driver. So let's get started. The bearing cage is moving, the bearing itself isn't. I'll now try to seat the splitter underneath the inner portion of the bearing. But again, no movement at all. And that's Thread rods are banded. I'm afraid I can't do anything at this point besides. The first roller is removed. The more I are out, the easier the remaining ones will drop out as well. This now requires my favorite tool. Voila! I guess the flat side of the smaller splitter has the best chances to succeed here. Tightening up those nuts of course also increases friction between the bearing and the gear carrier itself, so I don't want to overdo it. It's again around 4 hours of work already. There's still no movement. goes. It seems the heat made it move. That's it already for today. Next time I will continue with the differential teardown or even already start with the restoration. If you enjoyed the video you may want to give it a thumbs up or even better watch more of my content as will be linked on the end screen. See you back next time. Goodbye.